Hi traders, welcome to another one of our daily forecast videos. Uh, we're going to go over uh, Euro dollar and gold. We're going to see where price currently is uh, since we've got some high impact news coming out later on today. Before that though, head over to our website, like this video, uh, subscribe to this channel, get involved in the comment section down below um, and just check out what we can offer you right here on at trendlineforex.com. Right, I'm looking at the chart of Euro dollar, the hourly time frame, and what I see here is pretty much a move which doesn't tell me anything, right? And this is something that we talk about in our fundamental course where we totally focus on fundamental analysis. So if you are struggling with that, get in touch with us um, and we can provide that course to you uh, so you can take your skills to the next level. But normally when you've got high impact news, such as today, we've got Fed's interest rate decision. Um, you tend to see the market trading, um, you know, pretty much in the middle of nowhere and without a clear direction, right? And why is that? It's because all the market participants are in anticipation of the high impact news and, you know, all the liquidity and the volume comes in with the news. So, you know, looking at the hourly chart right here, I do not want to trade this setup. Well, there is no setup at all. Now, what our expectations are, are that we are finally going to see price breaking below this support right here. So, you know, I am expecting a move to the downside. However, that doesn't mean we're not going to see any spikes to the upside before that. And we've had this zone for quite some time now. If you haven't seen, um, you know, our previous daily forecast videos on this channel, make sure to do so. There's going to be a button on the screen right now. Uh, but what I'm expecting is to see price break below this support right here however before that you know I'm not excluding the option that we might actually see a spike to the upside and price you know breaking above all this resistance that we've got uh, that we've had previously and then we're most probably going to see that push to the downside so what I would recommend to each one of you guys of course depending on your style of trading if you are a more aggressive trader you might want to enter before the news um, or in fact during the news as well however what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for price action to uh, go into a clear direction so I can then see um, whether I should buy or sell and that means that will probably happen tomorrow um, but I really don't mind reducing my risk um, and just being more patient. However, if you do see a long wick to the upside and uh, a candle that closes like this with a wick to the upside, a body down at the bottom, this is probably a good enough signal for you to, you know, sell, place your stop loss just above the wick here, and then you can expect that move to the downside. So I think this is a decent setup. Um, however, this is not a trading signal, but just an idea of what could happen. All right. I mean, in situations like this one, even if you're not relying on fundamental analysis for uh, your trading results and you're emphasizing more on a technical analysis, it's still good to be aware of what's going on and why is the market moving like this? Because these market conditions are not good for a technical analyst, right? Anyways, I'm going to move on to gold where uh, we've also got, you know, pretty much the same price action picture. You see price is trading sideways without a clear direction. And what I would expect here is the same thing. We've got this support down here and I think we're finally going to break below that support. And, you know, th there's a few ways to enter a trade here. One way, which is the most conservative way and what I'm actually going to be waiting for would be to see price breaking below that structure, coming back for a retest. This is where I'm going to make my entry, of course, depending on where that pullback will end. And then I'm going to be looking for that continuation down, uh, most possibly down to uh, this previous level that we've had here. However, before that happens, I'm pretty sure we're going to see another push to the upside, just like with the euro dollar and some other pairs as well. Right? There's going to be a spike to the upside. Price will take out all the sellers that have, that have entered uh, you know, prior to the news. 
something called stop hunting if you're not aware of that again we talk about that in our fundamental course um, and once it does that it will then gain a lot of momentum to the downside we're gonna see a nice candle that will close like this with a body to the downside a bearish candle um, and that is also another way to enter this setup so if you don't want to wait for that break below you can then wait for a, a signal candle that will indicate to you that price is probably not going any higher than that and that means you can then place your stop loss above this candle and it can anticipate the next move to the downside all right so these are clean setups that will happen after the news again so if you want to enter before that just you know make sure that you've got stop losses uh, but i would say it's a very aggressive way of trading all right if you like those videos again hit the thumbs up make sure to leave a comment below that video subscribe to our channel there's a lot more content coming out and don't forget to join our free telegram channel as well where you can find more setups like this uh, you can find a lot more info about trading a lot more educational content okay so that's pretty much all for today i wish you guys all a successful trading stay safe and i'll see you in the next video